Hey guys, welcome back. Well, have you ever had a situation where you wanted to add detail to a low poly model, but you didn't have a high poly model to bake the normal map with? Well, that's what I'm gonna address in this video, okay? So stick around, it's gonna be fun. Here we go. All right, here we go. So we're in Maya 2018, and in front of you, you see a model of an AK-47 modeled by someone. And to be honest, I don't really know who that person is because I downloaded this off of a website called free3d.com. And that's the model we're gonna use for this tutorial, okay? So what are we gonna be talking about? Well, um, especially when working on games, what you want is to have detail off of a high poly model onto a low poly model, okay? And there are several ways you can do that. And I demonstrated most of them in my previous tutorials. Now, one of them is to have a low poly model, you V that low poly model, and then take that uh, copy of the low poly and start to add detail to it, either in Maya or in ZBrush or whatever program. And then when you have that nice uh, detailed, you will uh, bake the high poly onto the low poly, create a normal map and apply that normal map to your low poly and you're done. Now, the second method is to uh, start off with an object, go straight into the high poly model, so sculpts and so forth. And then, for example, go back into Maya and do some retopology. So basically cover your high poly model with uh, low poly faces and kind of rebuild it in a low poly version. And then do the same thing. So bake high poly onto low poly. Now the third method, and that's what we're gonna be looking at today, is working with a low poly model only, okay? So we're gonna take textures, we're gonna turn them into normal maps, and we're gonna apply them onto our low poly model. Okay, so we're gonna take this guy, and we're not gonna do the whole weapon, we're just gonna take one little piece. So let's say the grip here. Now I want kind of a hatch pattern going on here, but one of the things that I really see here is that this uh, surface is not really suitable because when I apply a high poly model to this, I need proper tessellation, meaning that the uh, subdivision of the edges need to be uh, kind of properly divided, if you will, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to uh, mesh and separate, and then we're gonna take this guy only, and I'm gonna go to uh, file, export selection, and I'll just call this grip original. And I'll call it OBJ, so we just know what's going on. I'm gonna go to my desktop, and let's uh, export that out, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remesh this, basically rebuild the topology in the ZBrush. And so let's uh, do that. All right, and here we are. We're gonna go to uh, import, we're gonna go to our desktop, and let's uh, take the original grip here. We're gonna left click and drag, pull that out, hold shift to snap it, click on edit and click on make polymesh 3D, All right? So this is our guy right here. And uh, like I said, if we click on this little guy here, you can see the line flow, which is not ideal. I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard to go to perspective mode. So what we wanna do here is we want to remesh this. So I'm gonna go to geometry on the right and I'm gonna to go to uh, Z Remesher down here. And we need to kind of set a level. So right now we're at 3.2, let's give it a try. And let's click on Z Remesh and see what we get. And that is already fairly high poly to be honest. Um, let's see if we can bring it down a bit, let's do two. Yeah, that's good. Now for the overall model, it would probably be a fairly high poly, but uh, I wanna show you how this works. So we're gonna go with this, okay? So uh, I'm not gonna UV it in ZBrush because that will not give me the result that I want. So I'm gonna save this out. I'm gonna properly UV it in uh, Maya. So we have something to work with, okay? So I'm gonna go to uh, export and we'll call this uh, grip ZBrush and save that on the desktop, okay? Now I'm gonna go back into Maya and UV this guy. Right guys, we're back in uh, Maya. Um, I loaded up the grip that we uh, Z remeshed in ZBrush, as you can see, and I UV'd it in a way that I have this pattern right here. So I got this uh, inside of the grip and the same here. And I did that by simply selecting the edges here. So right click, go to edge and select the edges here that I wanna cut it. 
and this gave me this guy right here for the surrounding part like so and then these two guys now that I have this what I want to do is I want to export my um, UV snapshot to Photoshop so I can uh, create a um, specific normal map for that handle okay so I'm gonna right click get a shell make sure I got all of that selected and we're gonna go to Uh, image we're gonna go to UV snapshot let's uh, browse we'll go to the desktop here we'll call this uh, UV snap and we'll hit save 2k is fine let's set this as a JPEG that's fine too uh, let's see everything else is okay all right so I'm gonna apply and close okay so now let's open that up in Photoshop all right guys, here we are. So we're gonna go to File, Open. And on my desktop, I'm gonna look for my UV snapshot right there. And that's gonna be white on black. And I really prefer the other way around. So I'm gonna hit Control I to invert that. And now you can clearly see the handles here, all right? Now I'm gonna double click on this guy to unlock that layer, hit OK. And then I'm gonna create a new layer by hitting this uh, button down here, okay? Uh, make sure you're working on a new layer right there and uh, because we're going to be uh, deleting this guy later we don't want that cross to go on there and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to file place embedded and i found this cross hatch uh, pattern here that we're going to use for this so i'm just going to pull this up and i'm going to kind of rotate this a little bit and i want this to basically cover everything so I'm just going to do one because the other one's going to be exact same process, of course. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go into opacity and bring that down so we can kind of see, you know, where is our hatch and so forth like this. And then you can decide to change the size if you want. We can hit control T to bring it down. And just make sure you got everything covered there. That's kind of important, of course there you have it okay so we're gonna hit enter and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in we're gonna take our eraser there we go and let's see if I can work on that layer hit OK yeah and we're gonna start to erase the, uh, the outside there and I'm just gonna go around here kind of rough initially and don't worry about all the other stuff you're gonna have to be dealing with that later anyway I'm just going to get rid of all of this and we'll do that up here as well and everything that's outside of that UV shell here and not touching another one don't worry about that because you're not going to see it so you can trim this a little bit but you don't have to be that exact with it we'll just take this out and there you go now, like I said, I'm just gonna do one of them. You're supposed to do the left one here as well, but for time reasons, we're not gonna do that. So let's say I'm happy with this, okay? So I'm gonna take my UV snapshot and I'm gonna turn that off. So first, let's go to this guy, turn back the opacity way up. We're gonna go to this guy. We're gonna delete that UV snapshot layer, like so. We're gonna clean this up a bit. And there you have it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to filter we're going to go to 3d and generate normal map we'll give that a sec here we have detailed settings that we can work with you can either have them uh, go in or out so you can invert the height if you want if you want it to be in the outside i like it the way it was like this you can play with the uh, detail but I kind of like it the way it is, all right? So we're gonna hit okay. And we can clean this up if you like. You don't really have to, but you can. You can just get rid of this stuff here. It's not gonna do anything, but you know, just so it looks a bit cleaner. There you go. And we're gonna go and we're gonna save this out. And I'll just call this handle normal. 
and we'll save this out as a JPEG, that's fine, and save it on the desktop. Hit OK. And now we're going to go into Maya and apply it. Okay guys, we're back in Maya. This is the shell that we were dealing with. Okay, so we're gonna select this guy. We're gonna right click, assign new material. Let's do a random Lambert like this. I'll just uh, close this guy down for a sec. And then we're gonna go into the properties of our Lambert. We're gonna go to bump mapping. Let's open this up. We're gonna go and look for file. And let's see, here's our folder right there. Let's go into our desktop. We're gonna look for our file here. Handle normal, there you go. Hit okay right there. Let's go in here and set the bump depth to 0.3 or so. And we need to make sure that we're using it as a tangent space normal and not as a bump, okay? Okay, that's all in place. Now we're going to go in and we're going to hit 6 on our keyboard. And 6 will show us our grip here. Okay, so there you go. And that's how that's done. So hopefully it wasn't too complicated and you can follow along okay. Uh, if you've got any questions, as always, please let me know. And that said, thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.